Hello you what's the spaces welcome back to a new video Tygun here the update has just dropped and I'm gonna go in with all you need to know for snipers for season 9 so if you are new to this channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into it so first off we're starting off with the locust because I kinda already made a DLQ3 video and that one probably is just gonna get views but anyway let's go ahead and do it so this is how you get the fastest locust for this new season and you're gonna want to have the fastest sniper at least for quick scoping and usually just about everything so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go into it and I'm gonna tell you guys everything you need to know so you're gonna want the fastest sniper remember that number one rule why you want the fastest sniper because everything else all the ARs they're gonna be insane and they're going to be insane because of all these attachments correct so you cannot waste you cannot have a slow sniper if you have a slow sniper you're going to get destroyed and this is why I'm actually really happy about the fact that they did buff the locust with this particular class I feel like it's faster than it was in the last season so without further ado let's get into it first off muzzle you don't want to put a muzzle on it it's no use nine times out of ten it's just going to mess up your damage and mess up your ADS speed there's no reason to do it there's recoil it helps you with recoil but at the end of the day just get better with recoil you don't want to go ahead and try to uh, fix recoil like th there's really no reason the only thing the muzzle is going to do is just make your thing silence which to be honest you don't really need on a sniper anyway it's not worth it especially with the negative effects it gives you the next thing you have is the barrel what you want to do for the barrel is you want the ykm lightweight short have that you're good now we're going to skip optics for a second now we're going to go to stock you want the ykm light stock so essentially you want almost everything light now the reason we'll have the ycam light stock and not the owc skeleton stock is because this gives both movement speed and ads speed you want max ads speed your movement you can saw like movement speed you don't really need that much movement speed as a sniper just get better with your sliding and stuff however if you really are struggling with your movement you can go ahead and add some movement speed but you don't really need to be running that fast anyway because it one if anything it slows down your ads speed anyway so there's really no point so next we're gonna go over to rear grip now your rear grip we're gonna do ads speed now remember this is a bolt action sniper right you don't need, it doesn't matter about your ads spread accuracy it's a bolt action sniper there's no reason to have anything else so you want this on now for ammunition don't put any ammunition it makes the snipers unbearably slow i tried it and it, it messed me up i was streaming and it made the arctic so slow speaking of which that video is coming very soon so if you're new and if you hey if you've been here for a while go ahead and check that out that's going to be coming soon now laser sight you always want to have laser sight on the only thing that it does is you can see the laser sights which really isn't a problem i play with it i i saw no problem with having a laser sight on always put a laser sight on and then lastly your perks now fmj is very good but at the end of the day i you can put it on really anything so you want the fast sniper fmj is going to be good however reloading speed's good it's really up to what you want this is just about this is just for the fastest sniper however i will tell you what you don't want to do you don't want to do headshot damage really because if if i get a hit mark on a headshot this is these are bold actions so if you get a headshot it's not gonna be bad so random post kill recovery bullet mm, maybe crippling power i'm gonna say the best thing you want to do is you want to put crippling power on because if someone does hit you right or if you do hit them you get a uh, hit marker you're gonna want to go ahead and put on crippling power because that way they can't outmaneuver you and at the very least you're gonna be able to outmaneuver them this is the best perk for snipers crippling power or wounding but in my opinion crippling power is better because yes they're wounded but they can still kill you whereas crippling power it will stop their movement and then if you have good movement you can capitalize that and take them out and sticking with the standard optic it's going to be the best one it's going to be easier because you already know it and then two you can use it in any situation it's still fast however the fastest one if you want the purely fastest one you're going to want to go with either three or four times scope it's going to give you the best well, four times scope i would say probably is the best it's going to give you a lot of distance and then it's going to give you a lot of sp uh, speed as well and six times scope is a nice uh it's nice as well but if you want like for pure speed i would probably say four times scope is better but at the end of the day if you're a pro player or you're a good player and you scope plus you and you play manually i'm gonna say stick with the standard scope because it's going to allow you to come out in almost in every situ come out on top in every situation and if you scope manually you can essentially blank scope and if you guys don't know how to blank scope i have a video linking up there so if you want to see it just go ahead and click the little eye icon that's going to pop up on the top right but that's pretty much it let's get into the next thing into what you want for attachments you want the agile perk it makes this so fast i'm gonna i would run the agile perk now quick fix i think is really good uh 
at least for now, I would definitely go ahead and get Quick Fix, right? And then lastly, Dead Sun is good. When, um, yeah, it's really good. I may get high alert when it comes out, but, well, when I unlock it. But until then, that's what you're going to want to have. Now, for your secondary, you're going to want the J358 pistol. And if we go into Gunsmith, we can actually do a lot to this. So, uh, I'm going to actually have a video for this all on its own. But essentially, you just have the J358 pistol. I don't want to go ahead and, you know make a video on this like make this video within that video this video is already five minutes and we haven't even gotten to the gameplay or me showing you what i'm doing so that's what you're going to want to do that's now the reason why i have gravity spikes is because this is a pretty fast class but um you can put literally anything on it but i hate that they call it the shadow blade the equalizer is coming out so that's pretty cool but um yeah pretty much up to you guys i'm gonna go ahead um i'm gonna leave where it's at right now okay guys so i ended up going ahead and doing a shipment match just because it loads up faster and everyone in legendary is playing this anyway so it's just gonna there's a skill-based matchmaking in this game i know for sure because i get so many legendary players when i play casual so there's no way i'm not going as legendary players but as you guys can see see how fast that is it makes the um it makes this such a good gun now, I missed that right there, and that's just because the sensitivity is slightly different. No need to change your sensitivity, just get used to the new sensitivity. It'll, it's, like, yeah, just, just, um, get used to it, because if you change it, you're just gonna end up, it's the same difference, essentially. You might as well just wait, A, to either they fix it, or until you just get used to it, because it's not that much different. But as you guys can see, you can still get, um, pretty nice, oh, dang it. Hit him. See, look, the crippling power right there. He, his movement one isn't as good. One, two, three. Okay, we get, we actually got hit pretty bad there. He came from the side. Just hit him right there. And I'm pretty quiet right now. Just that was a headshot. I should have had that. That doesn't make sense, but it's kind of mobile. <laughs> the snipers don't feel that bad though. I'm actually really enjoying them. So, yeah. There we go. Okay, thank you, whoever did that. That was a bot anyway. Freaking jump perfectly. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's, let's wait a little bit. Like, look how fast that is. This is absolutely amazing, I swear, guys. The Locust might be one of the best snipers, if not the best um, this season. Shoot. Oh my goodness, what was that? I got hit by that? I didn't even know. See, look how fast that killed me. You, you see how fast that is? You you have to have speed or you're going to lose. That's pretty much one, two, three. Yup, dead. Uh, you have to have speed or it was just over for you. So this is why I focus everything on speed. Yes, there, the accuracy may not be as good as when you're aiming down sights, but just you just get used to that. You practice that. You can't really make your gun faster by just practicing. So... This is the best way to go at the end of the day. And spent, if you mix this with blank scoping, the snipers become so fast. I should probably use one of my, um, whatchamacallits now, my operator skills. Let's go ahead and use one. Oh my goodness, freaking. I hate that they changed the name. The katana looked better. I don't like the way this looks. It looks kind of cheesy. What was that? Was he not near me? Where did he jump? Nah. He didn't jump, he missed me. Okay, that, that was just me missing. A sensitivity, yeah, it does feel slightly different. So I have to make sure I hit all my shots on point, essentially. Oh my goodness, man, destroyed me right there. I, that, that's not even funny. What the fudge is that spawn? I guess this is my catchphrase, Tygon Fudge. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, that the drop shots, the drop shots right now. Get drop shotted on, kid. That's my blank scope drop shot. Five finger requirement. Okay, guys, so as you guys can see, this is pretty much like how you, it would go if it was a legendary match. Legendary players in here, no one in here is bad. This is pretty much skill based matchmaking. Everybody's level 150. So even if you're playing casual, it's I'm legendary level 10,000. So even though I'm not playing legendary games, is actually uh, decent people that I'm going against or similar people to what I would see in legendary. But that is essentially the video. If you did um, enjoy it, please leave a like. 
And if you want to see more, subscribe. By the way, if you want, this is how you get gold in this particular gun. Essentially, all you want to go ahead and do is you want to go to loadout, right? And then you want to choose the base version or just literally any version that um is not a purple version. And then you want to go to customize and you want to go to camo. Now, when you're in camo, you can do all the different camos. And the more kills you get, um, that's how you're going to be able to get gold slash Damascus. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you later and peace.